Hey, it's Mary Chris, and today we are playing with gravity. We are getting familiar with your suspension straps. So all you need for this workout are your suspension straps and a doorway to attach these to. And when you're looking to increase your challenge or also modify, all you have to do is change the angle of your body. So let's go ahead and get these hooked up. You're gonna take your straps, open up your doorway, take them to the top, get a good little width here, and then you're gonna close the door. So the big thing is you wanna make sure that you have a door that opens away from you. And also once they're attached, make sure they're secure so you can get moving. So now that we're set, let's go ahead and get into our routine. We're gonna start out with our rows. So we're gonna work out our back here. It's good to start with the straps just above the knee here. You're gonna walk back. One note is the more vertical you are, it's a little bit easier. And if you want more of a challenge, you'll just walk your feet closer to the door. So let's go ahead and get started and test it out. Let's walk our feet down, lean back, and take it and squeeze your back. So the big thing is you want to feel that core engagement. Keep your shoulders dropped. Inhale and exhale. And again, if you're not comfortable, walk your feet up. And when you're feeling good, you can change that angle. Last three, two, and one. So now let's go into our Y raises. So your palms are gonna face each other. Again, find that angle and you're gonna open up, make that Y and take it back with that control. With this here, again, you wanna make sure you're not hanging, getting sloppy with your spine. Tuck and take it up and inhale and exhale up. Last five. Finishing with your Y raises in three, two and one. And moving on to our next movement, so you can lengthen the strap. Go ahead and click on that blue tab right there and pull down. So getting into our pistol squat here, let's start on that left leg. Extend that leg out, plant your heel into the floor and take it down. And press up through your heel. Think about that connection with your big toe, pinky toe and push up. If you need a modification, you can also drop that heel to just practice getting in and out of that movement. Three, two, and one. Now let's go ahead and practice on the other side. Plant that foot. Make sure you feel good. Core engaged. Drop it down and come on up. Another variation you can try is to also take that kickstand right behind to practice loading that leg and sitting back. You have a lot of options here. Good. Finish out. Play with that hold. Last three, two, and one. Now let's move over to our upper body. You get the full body play here. We're going into that tricep extension. So I want you to place those arms straight out in front of you like you're about to fly, core brace, and I want you to lean forward, bend in the elbow, and then press out and extend. Make sure you're engaging your core. You don't wanna lose it. And again, you can shorten how deep you go. And you can also go pretty deep, even play with walking your feet back. Good. Last three, two, and one. So I know you've been feeling your core, okay? So we're gonna go next level with the Superman here. So extending straight out in front of you, keep your shoulders drop, lean forward, hold, and come on out. So this is a good way to practice staying engaged throughout. And when you're feeling really good, maybe you're looking to take it up. Maybe you just hold it out there and hold and play with it. Take in those shakes, enjoy it. Last three, two, and one. Come on out of that and take your time getting used to the suspension straps. It's a ton of fun. You got this, keep rocking it.